white label clippers. Right, I'm going to discuss this in a little bit more depth because it's like people didn't get it. I do I do a video on this. I think I, I think I did a video on this like two weeks ago, and we're back again in the same thing where people just don't seem to fully understand. And um, I was a bit paranoid there. I put some new clippers on the table and you could see, but... Right. So... People don't seem to understand this whole business. And I just want to ask you guys instead. Please, can you guys tell me in the comments... Please, because this would, this would help a lot. Please tell me in the comments... What you think white labeling is? Looks cool with a grey, doesn't it? I want to know what you think it is because I've told you what it is. I've told you what I think it is, but I want to know what you think it is because it doesn't matter what you do. It really doesn't matter what if someone's got this like weird excuse, this weird thing that they do for everything. They keep going like. Um, yeah, but the wires, white glare, but it's like, wh when does it end? Here's my opinion. If a factory and a Chinese brand have a clipper that's fully designed and ready and blank, and they sell it to you, and all you do is write your logo on, that is white label. Now, what makes it not white label? I believe... Let me think about this. Let me think about this. I think if you change a front plate... Like... I don't know. I don't know about this. I think it... Yeah, I think if you change a front plate... Like, not, not a design, but just change, like, the... Slight appearance of the front plate is still white label. I, that's what I think. I think if you got a piece of paper or an iPad, whatever, and you drew your clipper yourself with your hands and then you submit that and can this work? Is this okay? We do all the different, the, the front, the back, the sides and you submit that to, to a factory and you're like can we make this work and they're like yeah and then you get it 3d modeled and then you get it sampled and then you tweak the samples and you go back and forth about that that is not white label that is designing your own clipper now in china honestly now honestly there's a lot of factories right but it's well known in the clipper industry that there's only a few good ones and this is why you're seeing uh, a lot of brands now bringing out average clippers over and over again because they're not got they don't have access to the good factories. So each factory will have their own way of doing things, their own style, their own like kind of lever, their own way that they put mortars and fingers together. And the thing that makes these things good is the fact that these people are experts, just like we're experts in hair cutting, right? So if you, you're going to want to get a skin fade, you want a good mid skin fade, you go to an experienced barber who's been doing the same thing for years and years and years. You could do it yourself at home with like one of them mirrors and a thingy. And maybe you'll do an okay job with a tutorial and stuff like that. But there's going to be a lot of flaws. There's going to be shit things in it. You're going to make a lot of mistakes. So to the people out there who think that barber companies are one designing mortars and, and shit like that. Or that they should design mortars and a completely fucking brain dead. Completely brain dead. You complete, completely and utterly brain dead. There is not one clipper company owner on planet Earth who has the capabilities to design a circuit board by themselves. There are experts that do that. 
And it's the only way to be. Unless you want stuff that doesn't work, that's that's the thing. So when people say if you design a clipper, but oh the circuit board or the battery, the batteries are always the same. We can't even argue that. But the circuit board and the motor is the same or similar to something else. That does not make it white label whatsoever at all. It just means that you've gone to a place that does things a certain way. Just like if two people got a haircut off you, they would have similar characteristics foundationally. But you would look different because you've gone to the same person. It's like if you say you're a girl, you're a girl and you get a boob job. You go, you go to the guy who's done 10,000 boob jobs and you've seen that they're good at doing boob jobs because you, you want to know that the person doing it knows what they're doing. And that's what every company does or tries to do. So I don't know if you guys agree with me. I don't know if you even understand what I'm thinking, what I'm what I'm saying, but that's a big difference. And yeah, people change batteries and people change certain motors for certain things and, and things like that, but that's not the clipper companies having some talent to change a battery. The the thing from us is ideas and designs. We're not the people who are going to decide whether that battery goes with that motor or not. We suggest. But at the end of the day, we don't know best. And that is the truth. Um. And yeah, that that's all I've got to say about that. And you've got to be man outside this little niche of, of barbering. That people don't care about this shit. People don't buy iPhones because of what it's like inside. People buy, we're going to buy the iPhone 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Regardless if it's different inside or not. Regardless. Or even if it's the same outside, which is mad. But anyway, I'm going off tangent here. And I just want to make it clear that blades, so blades... People don't, I think, let me just think about this. The only non-white label blade that actually came out, it's weird to call it white label because not everyone has access to the same, to the same blades. They don't, like there's not many people who have access to um, some of the blades that I might have access to. But, um, I think the only company was, was Babelis, to be fair. And you know, and you know what's funny about that? They brought out that blade, what's it called? The the wavy... I can't even remember what it's called. M-I-M blade, yeah. And no one gave a shit. Like, literally, nobody gave a flying fuck. So I bet you, they're in meetings now thinking, we wasted our time doing that because no one actually gave a fuck. And... Yeah, that's pretty much all i got to say about that, to be honest with you. We test every blade. I test every blade as well. I want to make, make this clear. Like, look, you'll see in this in, in places. Like, it, it's mad that you don't think, and look, it's missing a tooth there. And the reason it's missing a tooth is because this blade snaps very, very easily. It will snap even when you're cutting her, sometimes even when you're cutting dummy her. So... There's people who are saying, oh, this blade's good. Mm, yeah, it may be good, but it'll last you like a week. Maybe even one haircut at best. So just remember when you t you're typing in the comments and you, you, you're going on about shite, that you don't know what you are talking about. Thank you.